Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video, we are going to learn how to create an Airtable record for new lead and Facebook lead ads. So I am running a Facebook ad and in this case, I want whenever a new lead is received, automatically the details of that lead should be added in my Airtable. So to automate this process, we will use an automation software named Pabli Connect in which we need to connect our trigger and our action. So in this process, our trigger application will be Facebook lead ads and our action application will be Airtable. So to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video, we are going to learn how to create an Airtable record for your Facebook lead ads. So here I'm going to use my Facebook page, which is created with the name as Pabli Connect. And here in my Meta Business Suit, you can see all the lead ads form which I have created for my use. So to automate this process, we are going to use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. This is the homepage of Pabli Connect. You can visit the homepage of Pabli Connect by simply searching for pabli.com slash connect. Here in this homepage of Pabli Connect, you can see two options, sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user, so I'm clicking on sign in. After signing in, you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to connect my applications, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. Now you can see the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here in this dashboard of Pabli Connect, you can see a create workflow button on the top right corner. Here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this create workflow button. In this create workflow dialog box, we have to give a name to our workflow. Here I'm giving the name as create Airtable record for Facebook lead ads. And now I'm going to select my folder as Facebook lead ads. You can select your folder as per your needs. You can also create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this create. Here in this workflow window, you can see two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards our trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now to begin with our automation, let's set up our trigger. Here I'm going to select my trigger application as Facebook lead ads and my trigger event as new lead instance so that whenever a new lead is generated, instantly Pabli Connect should capture the response. Now to connect my Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your Facebook lead ads account is already connected with Pabli Connect, you can click on select existing connection. Now I'm going to click on this connect with Facebook lead ads. Here I'm going to select my Facebook account and authorization is successful. Now moving forward, here I'm going to select my page which is as Pabli Connect. And now moving forward, here it is asking me to select lead gen form. So here in my meta business suit, I have already shown my lead ads form to you. And now I'm going to select my desired lead form. So here I'm going to select new leads form. So here I've selected a single form because I want only the leads of this form should be captured by Pabli Connect. But if you want the leads of all the forms should be captured by Pabli Connect, then you can click on all lead gen forms. Now moving forward, here I'm going to click on save and send test request. So now as you can see, it is waiting for webhook response. That means here I need to do a test submission. And to do a test submission, let me take you to Meta for Developers. This is the homepage of Meta for Developers. Here I'm going to click on this more. And from here I'm going to select tools. Now in this developer tools, I'm going to select lead ads RTU debug tool. Here in lead ads testing tool, I have already selected my page and my form. And now to submit a new lead, I'm going to click on this preview form. So here I've entered a dummy data and now I'm going to click on this next and then I'm going to click on this submit. So here you can see it says your test lead has been sent. So now let's move back to our Pabli. Here you can see we have received a response with email, full name, phone number and other details. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger. Now let's move to our action step. Here I'm going to select my action application as Airtable and my action event as create record. So that whenever a new lead is generated, automatically a new record should be created in my Airtable. And now to connect my Airtable account with Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Again here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your Airtable account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now I'm going to click on this connect with Airtable. 
So here I'm going to select my base. So in my Airtable account, I have already created a base with name Facebook Lead. So here I'm going to select Facebook Lead as my base. And then I'm going to click on this grant access. And authorization successful. So now after building the connection, let me show you that here I've already logged in in my Airtable account. And here you can see the base which I have created, which is named as Facebook Lead. And in this base, you can see the table which I have created with the name lead. And here you can see the fields of this table, which is name, email and phone number. So now let's select all these details in our Pabli. Now moving forward, here I will select the base name as Facebook lead and my table name as lead. And now moving forward, it is asking me for name, email and phone number. So basically these are the fields which I have created in my Airtable. So now here, instead of entering the details manually, I will map the data. Mapping data means insert data from previous step. That means here we will map the data from the response we have received in our Facebook lead ads. So now here I'm going to map the full name. Same with the email. Here I'm going to map the email and now the phone number. So here I'm done with mapping the data and now moving forward it is asking for enable typecasting. So here we will select the false. And now moving forward here I'm going to click on the save and send test request. So you can see we have received a successful response. So now let's move to our Airtable to check the response. So here you can see we have received a successful response where we have received a name named as dummy user, email as dummy at the readpablitudes.com and a phone number. So with this we have successfully set up our automation. And so now let's test our automation to check whether it is working or not. So to test our automation we need to submit a new lead and for that let me take you to lead ads testing tool. So here in lead ads testing tool, I need to delete my previous lead in order to create a new one. Because it says you can create one lead per form, you will need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one. So now here I'm going to click on this delete lead. And after clicking on delete lead, I need to refresh my window and that's a necessary step. Here I've selected my page and form again. And now to submit a new lead, I'm going to click on this preview form. So here I've entered another dummy data and now I'm going to click on this next and then submit. So here you can see it says your test lead has been sent. So now let's check our Airtable. And here you can see we have received another response where we have received the name as test lead, email as test at the read and a phone number. So with this we have successfully tested our automation. So now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as Facebook lead ads and our action as Airtable. So that whenever a new lead is generated, automatically a new record should be added in my Airtable. If you want to use the same workflow, then you can find the clone link in the description box below. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can reach us at support at the If you have any query, you can reach us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can contact us on our website that is www.pabli.com. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.